Nature hosts so many marvels of biology and physics that it is hard not to be influenced by it. How do these seemingly simple creatures accomplish such amazing feats of strength, speed, and durability with ease? Well, some engineers asked that same question, and the answer inspired them to perfect the design for a device you might be familiar with. This is Engineer's Muse, and today we are going to look at how woodpeckers inspired airplane black boxes. In its infancy years, commercial air travel was not as safe as we know it to be today. Let's say after evolving to live on land, our species was having trouble adapting to air travel in its early days. To know what caused the planes to crash, we were in desperate need of data. But as you can guess, airplane crashes don't tend to leave too many clues behind. This is where the black box comes in. Ironically painted bright orange in most models to make them easier to find in crash sites, a standard black box can endure up to 1,000 Gs. Even after a crash, the flight records and cockpit voice records will be safe inside the black box. In 2011, a study about a new design was published that showed that there was a newer black box prototype that improved on the past designs. And the design was inspired by an unlikely muse. If you've ever accidentally hit your head against something hard, you know how little force it takes to hurt your head and even make you a little dizzy. That's because evolutionary biology didn't bless us with perfect protection against head trauma. Yes, we do have skulls that protect our brains from outside forces, but we as humans are still prone to things like concussions and brain trauma. Lucky for them, this is not the case for woodpeckers. These small birds can peck up to 20 times a second, and each time they experience a force of 1,200 Gs. As a reference, just 90 Gs is enough to give football players who get tackled on the field a concussion. So why don't woodpeckers experience concussions when they peck wood? The answer lies within their unique physiology. It starts with their beak, which is astonishingly durable. This allows woodpeckers to peck wood without having to worry about breaking their beaks. Just behind the beak, there is the hyoid bone that supports the tongue and diverts vibrations away from the brain. But one of the most important parts of a woodpecker's anatomy that protects its brain is its skull. Their skull bones are soft and spongy, which reduces the vibrations before they reach the brain. It covers the brain in such a perfect fit that there is very little room inside the skull to allow movement of the brain, reducing the impact's effect on it. Sang Yi Yoon and Sung Min Park from the University of California, Berkeley, tried to mimic Woodpecker's multi-component skull and beak structure in their new design for a black box. Just like the Woodpecker's durable beak serving as the first line of defense, a black box's hard shell is there to absorb the first shock. The second layer, made of rubber, helps spread the shock of the same impact with its elasticity, just as the hyoid bone does for the woodpecker. The third layer wraps the inner chamber tightly, as a woodpecker's skull does, and minimizes vibrations directed at the circuit. The circuit's chamber is filled with closely packed glass balls that serve as the spongy, shock-absorbing skull of the woodpecker. In some tests, they found that this new design can survive impacts of up to 60,000 Gs in some cases. That is 60 times more force than what previous black boxes can endure. Pretty impressive considering the inspiration came from such a small creature, huh? The woodpecker taught us that the most durable designs don't come with a single strong protective shell, but with multiple components working together. And we seriously doubt this approach to durability will only be used for black boxes.